If you are wearing a disposable face mask, I would like to advise you to a study that I gone through. It is done at Swansea University in UK. They say that there are certain toxins, certain particles and chemicals such as heavy metals, which are dangerous and terribly unhealthy for our body. I will mention only one of these and how bad it is. On this image we have a graphical abstract of the study, which gives you the whole study in a nutshell. It tells us about the masks used, the sample preparation, the particle assessment, the, mic the light microscopy of membrane, electron mi microscopy of membrane, and then the plastic particle characterization, and the leachable chemicals assessment. And then it says, it shows that the submerged mask in water, and so on. Figure 1 shows images of the typical face masks used in this investigation, which are actually quite typical face masks used day-to-day -day basis. Image 1 corresponds to face mask 1, the standard plain face mask, which is similar to face mask 3, 5 and 6. And image 2 is face mask 2, the black color and so on. Um, now let's let's jump on the next one to see what they actually discovered uh, under a microscope. So this is light microscope images of the membrane filters post filtration of face masks from 1 to 7C taken and blank membrane at 5 times magnification and you can see that they found many pollutants that are contaminable in all of the face masks and in some just a bit less, but some more, but even though it's less, it's still there. Why would you want it to be there? And let's continue for the next thing. These are the highlights of the researchers that they've posted, what they've done, in, a, in just in a highlight, but the article is actually quite much bigger, a lot of information there. So they investigated the impact of disposable plastic face masks, DPFs, on environment micro and nanoparticles emitted from disposable plastic face masks were deposited on aluminum oxide membranes. Particles emitted from disposable plastic face masks were identified as silicon-based and plastic fibers. Leachate was analyzed using mass spec spectrometry for heavy metals and polar organics. And some of the things that they found lead cadmium, antimony, and various organic species were detected in the leachate, leachate. And this is the reference down there, Sullivan et al., 2021. This is very serious thing. That's uh, heavy metals. These chemicals are heavy metals. And heavy metals are very dangerous for the brain especially, as well as the digestive organs and the blood. I will just pick one of these. You can check all of them. But I'll pick one of these, which is antimony. And let's say what certain people say about antimony. Antimony is absorbed slowly through the oral route. And many antimony compounds are gastrointestinal irritants. This is written in the Encyclopedia of Toxiology, the third edition. Kind of like step by step becoming sick. I don't know if this is by coincidence, maybe it is, I don't know, but it's interesting how this affects the organs in the body. And let's see what the inspired prophet of God says. She says, the state of the mind has largely to do with the health of the body, and especially with the health of the digestive organs. I suggest to you read it in context. And it will be revealed that poor health, which in this case the digestive organs, willfully or from ignorance leads to be insubordinate to God. The digestive organs have a direct connection with the brain nerves. The brain nerves are the only medium through which heaven communicates. I hope this is quite clear for you. And if you do not care, it is completely your choice. I just want 
to put the information that is out there and it is your choice what you do, whether you want to be healthy or not. And to add one more thing, it says, likewise, the American Conference of Governmental Industrial Hygienists classifies antimony as a suspected human carcinogen. A suspected human carcinogen. So, the more people are doing these things, the more people are putting these things on the face, we can see where it will lead eventually. And I hope that you don't do that. There's alternatives. Seek an alternative to the disposable plastic face mask. And just seek alternatives if you, if you need to wear one. The researchers declare that one of the main concerns with these particles is that they were easily detached from face masks and leached into the water with no agitation. Oh, that's terrible. You just put it and just you don't need to stir it. And it's just leaching which suggests that these particles are mechanically unstable and are readily available to be detached. So just few breaths, basically. It, this is only assumption from me, just few breaths and makes it moist and it's detached from the mask. Therefore, a full investigation is necessary to determine that quantities and potential impacts of these particles leaching into the environment and the levels being inhaled by users during normal breathing. So this is what the researchers suggest, a further research to be done, how this is affecting a day-to-day -day life.